You know, when sales is done right, it checks a lot of boxes for me. I think in college, I did telemarketing and I was able to make money and be better than people because I was able to not care about that. Like when people would, you know, be upset with me, I didn't really get upset. I also like had a pretty thick skin and I applied that to other places in college too. You can take rejection. So I had a little bit of that skill and it is a skill. Like when I got into sales, my very first job, there's a guy, he was you know, 28 and he did a career change. I was working in professional sports and you know, he started turning me on to books. I had kind of gotten out of reading in college, but when I was a kid and growing up, I, I liked to read books. And so he would, he would, hey Jake, you know, here's some sales books, here's some marketing books. So I started reading and da da da. And as I really got to like what the essence of sales is, it's helping people with their business. And it's fun. It is still, I probably in a year, I don't know how many, I still run hundreds, if not a thousands. I mean, it's definitely in the hundreds of sales meetings every year, probably still to this day. I'm good. Like I still enjoy it and get in the mix because one, I, I just enjoy learning about people's business, right? So like I have that, that, that naturally curious mindset. And as later in my career, I learned more of like the process of sales and the techniques Sales checks a lot of boxes mm. for me mentally, you know, to be curious about someone's industry. Like, what the hell does industrial manufacturing do versus this tech company versus a pest control? Like, it, when you really dig deep and like, tell me more about that. Like, and, and you have that genuine, not like I'm trying to qualify someone mindset. Now, like, at the end of the call, it's like, hey, is this a fit for us or not? Right? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Um, so that was it, dude. And I think for me, when it's done right, again, I think if you're somebody who's naturally curious, you can be a little, you're okay with a little bit of discomfort. Those are all things like that pushes me to get better every day. I'm comfortable mm -hmm. with discomfort. And so that's a skill set as, as a CEO now that's helped me to become a, a much better and better CEO over the last, you know, 10 plus years too. And, you know, we've got 30 something people now and growing and you know, having a great start to this year. That ability to get discomfort, uh, not be comfortable to to analyze how I'm doing, you know, and my performance without passing judgment on myself. Those are all skills of if you've got that growth mindset, I think a lot of people could be good at sales or, or be into sales, but and it applies to a lot of other parts of life, even for a lot of you, if you want to go do other things too, like that ability to push yourself to be better and be okay with discomfort mm -hmm. and not judge yourself. I think that's it's a really valuable sales lesson.